Welcome everyone! On this very first Fabric Monday we'll talk about the Data Wrangler and some related features in Microsoft Fabric. So let's go! Before jumping into the Data Wrangler, let's talk about some, let's say, similar features that we have on the query environment in Microsoft Fabric. Let me start a new visual query. So here you can see a visual query. Let me drop the dimension city here. And what are we looking for here? Let's take a look on the data view option under settings. We have this data view option and we can enable an option called enable column profile. When we enable this option, a green line appears below every column header. This green line shows information about the data quality of the data that we have. So you may notice it's pointing the number of valid values that we have in a specific column, number of errors and number of empty values that we have on this column. This is specific column, this is on the city column. Okay. And we have additional options. Show column quality details, but isn't this the quality details? Yes, but if I enable this special option, I will see the same quality details in a special box below the column. So the same details are more highlighted for us to see. And I have also the option about value distribution. If I ask you to see the value distribution on the columns, it will tell us how many distinct values exist in a column. For example, uh, some columns have one single distinct value, so there are only records from the United States here. In this set of data, there are only records related to the United States. Uh, here we have two distinct values, Indiana and Illinois. Uh, a thousand distinct values. So, in this way, we can identify columns that are potential candidates for primary keys and columns that should be managed as domain columns, for example. We can identify both by looking to the distinct values that we have on, that, on specific columns, looking to this information. So, this kind of information is very important when we are exploring the data, trying to discover what is the, that data about, how those columns behave and so on. We would like to have exactly this kind of information. And you will have seen that I'm using the visual query. So uh, I'm using basically the query environment. This query environment, the same query environment is available in data warehouses and in data marts. So the same coding environment is being made available in many different environments along, along the Microsoft Fabric and Power BI. So it's the same portal, same, same query environment, and we have these interesting features to explore our data. So I'm highlighting this because this has some similarities with the data wrangler, but this is not the data wrangler. The data wrangler is more difficult to find. In order to find the data wrangler, I need a notebook. So I have here a notebook. To find the data wrangler on this notebook, let's get um, one table. So I can drag and drop this table, the dimension customer, to the data area. That's it. So I'm dragging and drop this to the data area. I can remove this display. I don't need the display. So I need to load this table to be able to see the data wrangler. Correct? Yes, but there is a secret. 
This kind of secret makes the data wrangling more difficult to, to find. But don't you know, it's easy. So the first part of the secret is that it only works with pandas. You need to have a pandas data frame for it to work. So we need to convert this to pandas. Okay, that's it. So I'm loading the dimension customer and make a conversion to pandas. I can try to execute this. But then we will discover some additional secrets related to this. I have an error. Because the conversion to pandas attempted to make an optimization called ILO optimization. And this optimization doesn't go very well with timestamp columns. So we got this error. Okay. So what we need to do, we need to disable this optimization called error optimization we need to disable it so how do i disable this optimization let's use the configuration of the environment spark conf set the spark secret execution error by spark enabled false so i'm disabling the error optimization and executing the error changes the fact the error changed means that the optimization is not attempted anymore but this creates a conversion error when trying to uh, convert the, the timestamp field that's a problem for our example to make our example simple i'll just change the select and remove the timestamp field just that so I'm now using a select that doesn't return the timestamp field. Okay. And you may notice on the script that I'm doing absolutely nothing with this data, data frame. I'm doing nothing with it. Why I'm creating a data frame and doing nothing with it? Because that's all we need. We just need to create the data frame. Once we create the data frame, I can come to the mini data here and use the option launch data wrangler see how it loaded the information from my environment and identified that i have a data frame and my data frame is called df so my data frame variable appears on the menu and i'm able to open the data wrangler using this df variable that's it First thing we note in relation to the data wrangler is that it has similar information like data quality and uniqueness of the columns as the query environment. That's why I illustrated the query environment first to show how there are some similarities between the data wrangler and the query environment in relation of this exploration of data. So the exploration of data can reach similar uh, result on the data wrangler and the query environment but the data wrangler is capable to do way more than that is a, is a transformation environment and if you think this transformation environment resembles a bit uh, power query for example you are correct it resembles power query Let's get this column built to customer and make a filter. Filter, build to customer. I select the condition, start with, and select the value, wing tip, and apply. I just apply the filter to my set of data. See on the cleaning steps how the operations are being recorded exactly how in this, the same way how power query works recording the steps of the transformations and i can for example remove a column drop column here i'll drop the postal code column to drop postal code apply so and i drop it just drop it, the postal code column why am I making all these transformations on the data? What can we do with the result of this transformation? We can code. We have this top button here. Add code to notebook. Add code to notebook. We click on it. 
it will add a new code block that is doing exactly what I, we did in the data wrangler. It makes a filter in our set of data and it removes one of the columns. So we can use the data wrangler to explore the data from a Spark notebook and to create the code that we need to make transformations on the Spark notebook. So we can visually create the code that goes on the Spark notebook to make the transformations we need on our data. That's it for today for this first Fabric Monday. See you next week.